All right, Leos. Welcome back, y'all. I'm back with another read. So we're going to take a look and see what's coming towards you guys. We're already in December, so let's go ahead and get it. Get, get, get it. All right, if you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. So happy to have you here. Please be sure to take a seat, get your wine, or your beer, or your tea, coffee, whatever. And let's see what we got for you. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you're new. All right, so let's hop into it. Let's give me, get a message for the Leo, please. Oh, okay. All right. So, okay. What's this? All right. So, we got follower. And we got bougie. And we got in their, in their feelings. In their feels. So, your influence is invisible too focused on others supporter admire believer so some of y'all could just be following some type of trend or this a lot of times this is how people are towards leo but we'll jump into it we got the bougie thing going on here all right creating an image of wealth or upper class status but really not finer things in life upscale and then we got in their fields i want to put one more card give me another card we got clap back. Okay, so this is what this is about. There's a lot of throw shade, throwing shade. So y'all throwing shade towards somebody. Y'all throwing shade. There's a clap back here. Somebody's clapping back. Y'all clapping back, period. Y'all could be in y'all feelings a little bit because y'all feel like somebody came for you. But there definitely was a clap back. Okay, there most definitely was a clap back. All right. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to leave this right here and then we'll go back to it if need be. But let's go ahead and pull the tarot. Let's see. Yeah, because there's a lot of shade going on. So let's see. Tell me more. Tell me more about Leo's, please. Give me more information for the Leo. What's going on with Leo? Give me more information about the Leo. More information about Leo. All right, mm. so we got the two of swords and the hermit that jumped out. All right, so you're unsure about something. You're trying to figure something out, whether you should give something a try, okay? So it looks like you're uncertain about whether you should do something or not. We got the moon. Ah. We got the six of wands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're spying on somebody. We got the two of pentacles and the four of pentacles. It's like keep going back and forth, spying. Maybe you're watching somebody. Could be a Capricorn here with the devil. You keep going back and seeing what somebody's saying. So, yeah. So, you're looking at the shade. Either you're looking at the shade, you see it, or you're a part of it. Either you're the one throwing the shade, somebody's throwing shade back, whatever the case may be. I, it's just some shade throwing going on here and some spying going on. And I, I see it looks like, you know, you're going back looking to see what somebody else has to say. It looks like with the Six of Wands, there is like everybody's tuned in. Tell me what, what went on in the past. Okay, we got the world. Maybe you were waiting for something to end, waiting for somebody to close a chapter. We got the Ace of Wands. So it looks like there was some type of closing of a chapter and then it looks like a, a new beginning here. All right, we got the Empress here. Yep, see, I'm telling you, keep going back and forth. They jump right back out. Four of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. So I'm seeing this is you going back and forth. But you don't want it to look like that, like you're going back and forth because a lot of eyes are on you. Um, people are tuned in, but you don't want to make it seem like you, you know, going back and forth. We got the Strength card. All right.
right, we got the Knight of Swords. And the outcome is um, the Hangman. All right, so it looks like something gets put on hold. Maybe you walk away because you feel like you deserve more. You know your worth, okay? You have hope and um, you're healing from a situation, okay? But I'm, I'm right off the bat feeling, getting like you don't want it to look like you don't want everybody to think that it's you that's going back and forth. Why is the moon card here? The Page of Cups. All right. We got King of Pentacles here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. Okay. It's like you want to drag somebody. I'm getting like, you want to you wanna drag somebody. Why is the Page of Cups here? The King of Swords. Okay, so you feel like the truth should come out. Okay, so you feel like you want you want to hear the truth. Okay, it's a lot of back and forth going on. So you want the truth to come out. Now the Two of Swords is here. Why is the Two of Swords here? Two of Wands. You're not sure what somebody's plans is. The devil could be a Capricorn. You're not sure what this person plans is like. Somebody's bringing up their past. Why is the hermit here? But you're not sure what the plan is, but you're going to find out. That's what I'm getting like. You're not sure what this what this person going to do, but you're going to find out, okay? Um, the Hermit and the Nine of Pentacles. This is a challenge. <clears throat> Maybe you don't want to be by yourself. You don't want to be by yourself. You've been waiting for a situation to change for some time now. Um, tell me why the Six of Wands is here. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of people. Um, some, somebody's thinking that somebody's going to go back. Oh, the top. Yeah. The Three of Swords. And here's you guys' energy. See, yeah. See, somebody's spying on somebody's relationship. Somebody's spying on somebody's relationship. Now, we got the Queen of Wands, which is you guys' energy. We have the Page of Swords, which is my spy card here. So, I feel like it could be you guys. Y'all are watching a situation. It could be in regards to a relationship, a connection with the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups, as well as the Lovers. This is somebody that you love for sure, for sure. King of Cups. This person could even be married. You could be married to this person or this person could be married. Okay. Could be a Taurus or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But somebody could have started cheating, being slick. And this is causing some type of stress. Okay. This is causing some type of stress. But I keep getting a sense of keep going back and forth. Keep going back and forth. Now, where is the moon? I'm sorry. Why is the world card here? Maybe you close this chapter with this person. But you still want to find out some things. Like, you still... Yeah, see. You you close this chapter. You moved on. Or at least you made it look like you moved on. Yeah, see. We even got the all the moving on cards right right next to each other eight of cups chariot the world six of swords somebody moved on somebody closed the chapter and moved on but then somebody i'm telling you seven of swords and the fool somebody started being sneaky lying or being deceptive and there was a lot of arguing disagree disagreements going on okay now we got the ace of wands here for future Get your energy. You want something new. Nine of Cups. 
you want some fresh new energy or this could be that you want some some sex okay a good time and then you let's see let's get more let me see let me see tell me about the nine of cups okay yeah some of y'all want this connection but you want something new you want something fresh you want it either to bring fresh fresh new life into it or you want something new okay because i'm telling you you know what you deserve you know your worth but i feel like you're there's a constant back and forth thing going on here why the four pinnacles yeah somebody is not apologizing or somebody, you could be calling somebody's phone, they're not answering. Now, the, how this person views you is your energy here with the strength card. King of Cups. I see there was a disagreement. There was a disagreement of some sort. They're spying on you as well. They're looking to see how you're responding. Okay, how you're responding to this. Yeah, we got the chariot here. They wanna see where, where this is headed. Where is this gonna go? This person does care about you with this King of Cups here, but this is their energy. Like, they may feel like it's too much competition. It's a lot of disagreements, argument, insecurities going on here, and they are stressed out in this connection. They are stressed out in the connection. Nine of Swords and the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Wands. They're stressed out in the connection. So you both are in this Five of Swords energy. Okay, it looks like they could be trying to balance out their money. They could be having, you know, finance, financial um, issues where they're trying to balance out their money. So they're stressed out, trying to see which direction that they're going to take. Does this person care about you? I see the King of Cups here. That is a, a lot of emotion, okay? But this person could be feeling like you guys shouldn't be together with the Four of Cups and the Three of Cups or y'all not getting along. Okay, and I feel like that's more of it, like y'all not getting along. Why is another source here? The Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? The Star. So it looks like you're pretty pissed. It looks like you're pretty pissed about this situation. Because you had a lot of hope for this relationship. You had hopes for this relationship. You was hoping that this relationship was going to be stable and long term. But you're pretty pissed. You feel burdened, okay? And you're tired of feeling that burden. You're tired of feeling that, bur that burden. Um, you want to make some make that very clear. That you feel left out or you feel used. Um, you don't feel like you're getting what you deserve. Okay. Now the hangman is here as the outcome. And you're waiting for them to change. You're waiting to see some type of change. I feel like you tried to fix somebody. Okay. Some of y'all tried to fix a person here. You tried to patch them up, fix them, mold them. And I feel like some of y'all, this this isn't worth it. Some of y'all gonna walk away. It isn't worth it. Some of y'all are thinking that y'all wanna walk away, but some of y'all are, are kind of feeling stuck, like you trapped in this situation. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Now, judgment, yep. This is the final decision. 
Like this is an awakening as well too. swords you could be embodying this queen of swords energy and that's why i'm getting this like y'all could be more you know kind of more upscale like more uptight when it comes to like you know creating this image and um of upper class or you know i have i'm better than that i'm not no i'm not none of these out here in the streets you're not going to treat me like that that type of energy i want to look at your person's intentions because i'm saying, saying like there's a back and forth keep returning to this situation but you feel like you deserve better but some of y'all are feeling stuck for some reason, you're tied to the situation. Could be because you guys linked finances or y'all just got in too deep. Okay, so let's see. What are the questions, um, intentions towards Leo's? Thank you. All right. All right, so we got coffin. Endings, bringing new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transformation. And then we got engagement rings. This person, I don't feel like this person is going to take things to the next level right now. Okay? I don't think they're ready to take things to the next level. Um, they just playing the, the hand that they was dealt. They're just playing the hand that they was dealt. We got a hand of cards. They took a chance. They took a risk. They're being strategic. They got options. And they're not showing their hands. And they're gambling. So, I'm going to be honest. If you're looking for this situation, some of y'all are going to have to walk away in order for this person to realize what they had. Tell me more. What are this person's intentions towards Leo? We got X, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. But it came out in reverse. This person isn't going to isn't going to cut you off. They're not, they're not going to cut you off. You're going to have to cut them off. Because whatever it is, they're getting what they want. But are you getting what you want? Now, we got stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Watch out. Because this person will stab you in the back. This person will stab you in the back. The Phoenix. This is the world card, okay? This is a closing of a chapter. This person is, you know, they could be going through a new phase. They could change their mind. Give me one more card. Palm tree. This person is looking for security. This person is looking for security. But the thing about it is, is the truth is going to come out about this person. Look at this. The Grim Reaper. Listen, the truth going to, you're going to find out the truth about this person. You're going to find out the truth about this person. We got clarity, truth, revelation, protection, power, force, honor. Right behind that is the Grim Reaper. You know what the Grim Reaper come to do. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. You're going to find out the truth, but some of y'all are, aren't going to walk away. And the only way that you'll be able to find this out, that this person, this person's intentions is when it's completely over. All right. So they're playing their hand. You better play yours. All right. So that's the message that I have for you, Leos. If this message resonated, guys, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Be sure to comment. If this resonated with you, share with your family and friends. As well, guys, if you're interested in booking a personal, all of that information is in the drop box below. As well, guys, check out my website. All of that info is in the description box. All right. Ciao for now.